today is Wednesday, December 15, 2021. I'm Dave Landry, Sparkman. Let's go. Well, P's got floor yesterday. Bounced around quite a bit and ended up pretty much where they started. As you can see, I've lost some steam in here as of late. Bit of a bummer because just a few days ago, they were closing at all time highs. Second look at NASDAQ. Got a way to go to get back to all time highs. As you can see, gap down yesterday, trading well below its bow tie moving averages. Nothing magical about those averages, but they can't help but keep you on the right side of the market. Notice that the rusty cross below those. Quite a long time ago. Also, both tie triggered now about a week or so ago. So far, it looks like it wants to come down here and challenge the bottom of its range. Hopefully, a word you should never use in trading, obviously. The bottom of that range will hold. As you can see, energy's lost some steam in here. No forward progress there in quite a while. Biotechnology wasn't hit too bad yesterday. I'm reading in a downtrend, as you can see, well below the moving average. Some areas like MNC, just off all time high. So far, looking pretty good. Just pulling back in here. Take a look at semis, one of my favorite areas to watch as a bit of a bellwether. As you can see, down below the moving averages in here. So that's a little bit of a concern. So what do we do? Well, with all the choppy action and weakness in general, I'm not seeing a whole lot of setups right now. So the best action is to sit tight. If weakness continues and things are a little less choppy, might be time to short a bit. Any questions, as usual, Dave, Dave, I'm Dave Landry. Sure